I, I mean, I, I won them by super close and lost them by super close, but uh, fun, fun racing there at the end, honestly. Not really fun racing all day, I thought. Mixed it up a lot, and um, I don't know how they got that big a run. I thought I'd laid back the right amount, like in one and two, to kind of get a little bit of energy from both of them, and, and they just, both of them, planes came with just massive runs, and couldn't really watch either of them, so I just kind of run the bottom and drag it out to the end, so uh, fun racing. Luckily, we're not tore up, but uh, that was a fun night. Happy for Daniel, too. That's, that's cool to see. Three wide, four wide. I mean, it almost felt like Talladega. Yeah, dicing it up out there, you know. It's, it's fun. I mean, the track was good to where, like, you were out of control, and handling mattered and, and but the runs were just massive you know and it was kind of hard to sometimes hard to manage um the runs especially if you were kind of by yourself leading it with two lanes getting hooked up um and when the sun went down i thought that got worse because handling got better so the guys who couldn't handle very good during the day now they just had a lot of speed and, and it was it was harder to do Did you know that picking you lost? this off for the playoffs <laughs> i don't know we'll be back <laughs> we're doing it did you know that he got it at the line Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, I know I probably inched out the eight, but I, I couldn't see the uh, the ninety nine. What was the line? Get that good run on him. That was one heck of a run. You just missed by just a couple inches. Can you talk about that? Yeah, it's frustrating. I mean, I hate it because you know I felt like we were one of the top five cars today and and had a good shot. The twelve was fast. I mean, deservingly they were they were probably one of the faster cars with all the carnage obviously that happened that took out some other guys early, but. Um, I mean, just, yeah, I got a little too far ahead of the 99. He got a good side draft through the corner. I didn't think the outside would prevail, but with the run down the front stretch and the side draft, that's what hurt us. Um, but I was, so I was looking at the 12. I swore I was ahead of the 12 at the line, but uh, obviously my eyes are bad. So I need more powerful glasses, I guess. You know, you overcame a lot today. You had a couple speedy penalties. I mean, does that become a satisfying day at some level? Yeah, it definitely does. I mean, you know, there towards the end, we, I didn't know, you don't really have that many alliances. All the all of my friends kind of dis disintegrated and went away throughout the day. But uh, Bubba came to the rescue, and, and he was a huge part of our our success there off of two and down the back stretch and getting a run, getting alongside Blaney. It was a, a tight fit, but uh, being able to make that move. Um, if I didn't make that move, then I push Blaney out too far through three and four, and he wins. You know, so um, glad to glad to see a Chevy in victory lane. As Kyle was it fun today out there in these conditions in this uh, track? Yeah, I mean, it was it was fun. It was fine. I mean, it was dicey. I I, I liked it when we had the pit stop, and then you kind of had some single file, and then you could kind of make some moves. And even before the pit stop of the the green flag stop, um, you know, there were some ill handling cars out there, and guys were starting to fade and move around and have to get out of the gas, and the good cars could start ratcheting their way to the front. And we were one of those good cars. We, we were able to make our way into the top five before pit stop started. So, um, you know, those, I just wish the tires would get to that point sooner so we could make some of that stuff happen earlier. It looked hard, if that makes sense. Like sometimes it, it doesn't always get the impression that some of these speedway races or drafting races are as difficult, but today it looked like you guys, everybody was fighting it on the edge like, most of the time. Yeah, it definitely wasn't as stuck as, as last year, you know, or the year before with, with, uh, with this car and the repave and everything like that. So track's getting some age on it, but it's, it's still going to be, a lot of us have some work to do to make our cars better, which we made our car better throughout the day, which was good. So uh, I got more comfortable being able to, you know, be closer to guys getting into the corner, but that was the big issue where guys would land in the three and wash out, lose their nose in traffic. For me, the eight, the one, 47, um, we were all lucky dogs and we all finished top 10. So just never quit, you never give up. So um, yeah, so all in all, good day, good top five, lots to build on. Lots to go back and debrief, so yeah, it's, uh, it's fun. Second How intense was the racing out there, Bobby? Uh, the racing was very intense. It's the mental side, right? Are we going to crash? Am I making the right move? Every corner, every straightaway, every lap, it's a lot. So I am like mentally drained just from that. You, you try to be so cool, calm, and collective the whole time, and it's hard to do in these situations. These guys are good, so you don't want to just get caught sleeping. Um, but our team executed, they brought a fast race car. We got unfortunate damage on lap one there. I thought we were fifth with 20 to go and that's where we ended up. So I wish we could have given a legit shot uh, for, for the win, but we'll settle in for fifth and build on it. So pump for Suarez though, it's pretty cool.
Ohio was very complimentary. So, you know, I mean, you and I talked earlier this week just kind of about the vibe for Atlanta coming back here, uh, Super Speedway. But, you know, you go four wide right there towards the bottom. Tell me what's kind of going through your head there. Like, you're, like the you're like the fifth person to ask me that so far. And it must have looked as cool as it felt. I mean, you don't get runs like that too often and be able to take them and, and do something with them. But I was pretty confident I was going to get clear before the corner and stay above the double, uh, double white line. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was, it was cool. The car was fast enough to stay out front. And, um, just really proud of the effort. Fun to lead laps, on the stage. Um, real shame um, Ryan was in a really tough spot there at the end of the race to try and hold hold those runs off. And, um, yeah, I wish I was there to maybe help him out a little better. How much fun was it out there tonight? It's fun leading. I'm sure it's not fun. You know, it's it's pretty difficult to drive these cars in traffic here when the cars aren't, aren't driving correctly. There's a lot more managing the car than I feel like it looks like on, on television uh, as far as like kind of when you lift, what lanes to choose. The track changed a lot tonight as far as what lanes were working, what, what wasn't, so you had to be super adaptable. Um, but all in all, uh, it was uh, yeah, it was fun for my seat. Did you tell who won the line? Uh, I was pretty sure the guy I wanted to win did not win. What happened when you went backwards and you got shuffled out? Yeah, I was in a really tight aero spot. I was being pushed up under the 12. And then I had the eight really close to my door. I don't even, I think I might've even could have gone down a little bit further, but either way, I had like no air on my car and uh, just trying to keep keep as much throttle to keep close to Ryan because the 99 had just clamped his right rear. So I was like, okay, we got to make sure that we, we stay you know, ahead here. And um, yeah, just lost, lost the nose of the car, just four wheel slide. Glad it didn't involve in a wreck, but um, yeah, it definitely took me out of contention in those front two rows. Wish I had that one back.